Hi, my name is Rankin Dean, and I'll be reading a monologue from Hamlet as Hamlet. How all occasions soon form against me and spur my dull revenge. What it is a man of his chief good and market of his time he but to sleep and feed? A beast no more. I'm sure he that made us with such large discourse, looking before and after, gave us not that capability and godlike reason to fuss in us unused. Now, whether it be bestial oblivion or some craven scruple of thinking too precisely on the event, a thought which quartered hath but one part wisdom and ever three parts coward. I do not know why yet I live to say this things to do, since I have cause and will and strength and means to do it. Examples gross as earth exhorts me. Witness this army of such mass and charge, led by a delicate and tender prince, whose divine ambition puff makes mouths at the invisible event, exposing all that is mortal and unsure to all that fortune, death, and danger dare, even for an eggshell. Rightly to be great is not to stir without great argument, but to greatly find quarrel and straw when honor's at the stake. How stand I then that have a father killed, a mother stained? Excitements of reason in my blood, and let all sleep. While to my shame, I see the imminent death of 20,000 men that for fantasy and trick of fame, they go to the graves like beds, fight for a plot where on the numbers cannot try the cause, which is not too much of incontinent to hide the slain. Oh, from this time forth, my thoughts be bloody or be nothing worth. 